Okay. I am looking at something here. I'm going to try and not yammer too much. Seems to be a thing with me, but now I think I'm getting it down. Uh, I'm using Simple Screen Recorder to record my screen. I have the audio off in this webcam software because I want different audios going at the same time in recording. And I'm using some different settings, so I really don't know how good the quality, the visual quality is going to be, so you might want to choose the highest visual quality in the YouTube settings, going to upload this to YouTube. And so far it looks pretty good, we'll see what happens as we go on. And also you probably want to pause the video and read the description of the video because there's going to be a bunch of links and maybe some information maybe and stuff like that. Probably won't be much, but it could be important. Like stuff I forget to say in a video. <laughs> okay, let's minimize this. Okay, as you can see, I'm using this um, a piece of webcam software on my Linux machine. It's called Webcamoid810. Okay, and before we get into it, I'm going to let you know I'm using Linux full time now. My main PC downstairs is a Lenovo desktop PC. It's using Linux Lite 4.2, and the computer I'm making this recording on right now that I'm talking to you on is also now using Linux Lite 4.2. They're both 64-bit PCs. Um, this particular desktop is an AMD Asus computer. Okay, and again, the other one downstairs is a Lenovo 64-bit. So now let's begin. Let's talk about this fun piece of webcam software. And before I do that, well, actually, I can do that and do this. See, I kind of did this wrong already because I want to do a shout out. Um, the reason why I wanted to, I'm going to do this shout out is because when I I tried installing this webcamoid through the Synaptic Package Manager, I tried twice and had to un uninstall it completely and stuff like that twice, and it installs just fine through the Synaptic Package Manager, no problems, but the program just wouldn't start up, it wouldn't work, okay? And I'm thinking, there must be a bug. So I surf and stuff like that, and sure enough, there's a known bug installing it through for this particular program, uh, Webcamoid, there's a particular bug installing it through the Synaptic Package Manager, and maybe they'll fix that? I don't know. And also another known bug, too. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. So, I went to YouTube, and I found this guy's video. Okay, let's go to this guy. And... And as you can see, his um, YouTube video is called Webcamoid Ultimate Webcam Software for Linux. Yes. And you go down, and here's the shout out. I want to say thank you to VFX Pipeline. That, his, that is his YouTube username. And I'll include the link to this video of his down below in the description of the video. And from there, you can check out his channel. He's got some interesting stuff. So please check out VFX Pipeline. Um, he showed me another way to install Webcamoid. Okay. So now we got that. And this is the link um, he suggested we go to. Um, Webcamoid.github.io. I'll include that link also down in the description of the video. And since my computer, my Linux machine is a 64-bit, I clicked on this 64-bit installable. Okay. And then from there, you save the file somewhere on your computer so you can find it. I already uh, downloaded it and installed it and stuff, but this is what it kind of looks like. And let's take a look here. And, and it's got like other things for Mac, for Windows, but I use Linux, so downloaded the one for Linux. Okay. And then from there, you're going to do this one thing he says to do. You have to go find it. Okay. And you, 
it's in my download fo folder and you, and here's the file right here you can't just double click on it and install it you have to do this one little thing first you have to right click on the file scroll down to properties click on the permissions tab and put a check mark allow this file to run as a program okay you put a check mark in there click close there you go then you double click on it and install it like you would any other file, program, whatever. You just double click on it and install it. And if everything goes well, there you go. Ta-da! Hello! Now this is a really fun piece of software. It's got special effects and stuff like that. So let's look at the about. Webchemoid version 810. Okay. Now, preferences. Let's click on the preferences icon. If you notice this little like little strip here, that's okay. That's normal. Just go over here and stretch it out. Okay. <laughs> now the updates thing. Um, since you down, sometimes when you download a program from a website and install it on your Linux machine that way, you have that's how you got updated. It will not always uh, update the program th through the Synapt Synaptic Package Manager if you installed it from a website instead. It's not always. And in this case, it's not going to, because I checked. So if you get an update notification, you have to go to the very, the very website where you got the program. Update it that way. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. And there's all this other stuff I don't, don't know about. Okay, I'm not going to play with it. I'm only going to play with what I know. The rest you can tell me. Okay, this were configure sources. That's your webcam or whatever. So you click on that. And I'm going to bring this down. Okay, and then I'm going to go like this. There's a reason because I don't want to scroll up and down. And when this thing first pops up, it might come up looking all sketchy. And that's, for me, the reason why that was is because it started out as an MJPEG, MJPG. And from there, it started off with a very small resolution. Okay. And then the frames per second were low or whatever. So I had to change it. Um, had to, I changed it from the MJPG to the RGB3. And then from there I changed the resolution from 160-120 to a comfort zone of 800 by 600. And I chose 30 frames per second. And and so far it works just fine and since it's the daytime you're always going to have to mess with this during the daytime and you might have to mess with it again when you change your lighting in your room and the lack of uh, natural light and all that you're gonna have to change it again you know it's just just what it is at least for for me and so we got that and uh, if you want all this to disappear you just click on the configure sources icon again Ta -da! see now the next thing I know about is um, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, click on the record video um, icon I know a tiny bit about that and I know nothing about any of this I think that's what you can um, convert the file to you know save the file as or something I'm guessing tell me I'm gonna play with that you know that and then over here I don't know much about that but maybe in time I'll learn and for to take a photo click on the take a photo icon now if I were you this is how it was before and I had a check mark in there okay if if I were you I would take the check mark out of the use flash because it makes your whole screen turn white or whatever. And then it goes back to normal. 
So take out the check mark and you can have it take an image right now. Boom. You just click now and then you click shot and it takes a picture. Bam. Just like that. Or you can have it wait five seconds. And it waits about five ne seconds and then it takes the picture. I mean, you click at this, you click on this, and it waits five seconds, scrolly thing, you know. <laughs> yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, now we're going to play with configure effects. Webcamoid 810 comes with a lot of cool special effects. So you click on the little wand that says configure effects. And you see nothing right now, but that's okay. Um, you click on the little green thing. And all these special effects, it's got tons. Some are the same as other effects or a little bit different. But just play with it. But when you're done playing with the special effects, what you gotta do is scroll down. When you're done, right? You know, you don't want to play with the special effects. End it with this choice. Uh, normalize. It's in alphabetical order. You click on normalize. See? And then you go like this. And it, because if you start up webcamoid and you go special effects, it starts off, sometimes it'll start off with the last effect you're playing with. <laughs> For example, this one. <laughs> so, so yeah, a bunch, a bunch of special effects. Oh, this is the delayed thing. Yeah, you move around. You have to move uh, back and forth and makes that effect. Convolve, convolve matrix. I don't know what that is. It does nothing. See, some of these stuff, special effects are okay, and some of them are kind of uh, whatever. Matrix. Nervous. Nervous is funny. <laughs> funny. Where's the normalize, damn it? Uh, okay, there it is. <laughs> and so I'm going to end it on that. And get out of that. And then I'm going to get out of it again. Click on this configure effects again. You do that with all the icons you're done playing with. You click on them once and you click on them again. And then from there you can um, make it small, you know? And that's pretty much with webcamoid, you know. And did I, did I talk about the um, updates? I think I did. Yeah, I told you you have to go to the website and update it and stuff like that. I already told you that. Uh, preferences there. So, yeah, that's it for for this uh, thing. How long did I talk? Not bad. I wish it was under 10 minutes, but whatever. Okay, there is this one other webcam software um, that is the first webcam software I installed for Linux. The first one I play with is here. Go my favorites. It's called Gub C View. Now that one, that one you can not only install through the Synaptic Package Manager and installs just fine, but it also works right out of the box, so there's no bug in that one. That works just fine. So you can go to Synaptic Package Manager and install GovCVU, and that's a, another good uh, webcam software So for Linux. So, yeah. Yeah. Did I tell you what my web a webcam is? I think I did. Okay, I'll just repeat myself if I said it already. Um, my webcam is a Logitech QuickCam Orbit AF. There you go. That's it, people. That's all I have to say. And simple screen recorder. And for some reason, can you tell me this? For those of you who use simple screen recorder, you know. Oh, wait a minute. It starts out just fine, and then it does this. Synchronizer, read audio samples warning, received audio sample with non-monotonic timestamp. What is that? Yeah, good question. You tell me what that is. Okay, that's it. Peace out.